Kelly Mack coming to you again with another episode of the Dre Mack Show, 7.30 in the morning, Central Time, 8.30 on the East Coast. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Today, I'm going to talk about how I watched for the first time Ghostbusters Frozen Empire and how disappointing pointed I was that it felt so bland and that I think it's time to uh put up the proton packs but I want to see what you guys say and today is April the 2nd which is uh autism awareness day which this is autism awareness month so I'm going to talk a little bit about that hope you guys are happy hope you guys are healthy shout out to my man heavy gan over at the heavy gan channel you know, uh, we're going to get it in today, but you already know what it is. So, real question is... All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's see who is all in the house this morning. My man, Jalen Harris, what is up? Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning to you, Jalen Harris. Tracy Woods is up in here. What is up? Good morning. My man, Torn Rain Reloaded is up in here. What is up? Good morning, good morning, good morning. <clears throat> Prisetta is here. What is up? Good morning. Good morning. Roberta is in the house. Good morning, Roberta. Uh, Robin D, the admin, is up in here. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Always wonderful when I got <clears throat> Robin in here. Good morning and happy Tuesday to everybody. And again, like she said, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Make sure to comment and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Uh, my man, Junior Network, is in the house. Good morning, good morning. Mika G, uh, good morning from I-95. Be careful. I need you to be careful and get home safe. Uh, but I'm, I'm glad you're in here, but be careful, uh, going home. So proud of you, girl. Just want to let you know that just super proud of you. <clears throat> I am fighting my voice. If you can't tell, I'm fighting my voice a little bit. So if I had to go into a deeper, I, I can't even go into a deeper octave. I mean, <clears throat> I've been having lemon juice and all of that uh going on so i apologize if it sounds a little crazy uh jalen harris said can't say can't stay to watch but i give this ghost was a 7.5 out of 10 the family aspect is probably my favorite part and the wish is showing up that's black power should have some uh set up some more screen time and i'm going to talk about that i'm going to talk about how i feel about that movie uh honestly uh but if you have not watched it Spoiler warnings ahead when I get to talking about it. Um, because I I, I want to talk about it. Um, got a little bit more lighting in here. You know, I just I you you know what I you know is the greatest thing about going to the Walmart sometimes going into the uh clearance section and finding a uh a, a, a dang on near thirty dollar uh light for your setup for five dollars. Because it was in the comment. I mean, it was in the comment section. It was in the it was in the clearance section. So anyway, I mean, it was just on clearance. It was like 27, 25, 27, something like that. And uh I just seen five dollars and I grabbed it. And I go ahead and give you that. You know what I mean? So I got a little bit more lighting in here. If you if you notice, I'm a, you know, forehead shining a little bit more brighter. You can see all the head now. You know what I mean? This is years of having a forehead. And after I seen a brother dancing on TikTok, forehead was back, way back, back in the time. I said I should pull out the gr the the uh the top. You know what I mean? What up, chill? Chill is in the house. What's up? What's up? What's up? Of course, you know, we got Black Panther in the house. You know what I'm saying? I'll recast the child always. You know what I mean? But I do want to start off uh today, today's uh, live stream with uh world autism awareness um i'm really big on uh autism awareness and this is the day 
uh, a world uh, world uh, autism awareness day. Uh, every April, Auti uh, Autism Speaks celebrates World Autism Month, which is month of April is World Autism Month, beginning with the United Nations sanctioned World Autism Awareness Day <clears throat> on today, April the 2nd. This year marks the 17th annual World Autism Awareness Day. Throughout the month, we focus on sharing stories and providing opportunities to increase understanding and acceptance of people with autism and fostering worldwide support. This year, we are committed to acting fearlessly for change to help create a world in which autism individuals are fully supported, championed, and celebrated. We must all work together to achieve true acceptance. And this is a, we extend an invitation to all there who share, uh, all those who share our vision to join us in the journey towards a brighter, more inclusive future. So this is, um, from Autism Speaks, you could go and donate uh, on today. Uh, again, I'm a big component uh, for autism, you know, having uh, two kids on the spectrum uh, of autism, uh, having to understand uh, how autism works. Uh, autism is, a, is, is something that can be very frustrating at times dealing with a child with autism or a spectrum of autism there's certain signs and things that you have to uh, that you have to kind of um watch out for um but nonetheless you know we should love them all the same so you know and and to be able to accept uh their struggle uh that they have so just want to go over you know i know this is not something you know we normally talk about on this uh um uh, and amika i love yes i love somebody on the spread i get two of them i love them to death you know and i know this is not something that normal you know people share on the on their channels and stuff like that but i wanted to make sure that i share this uh because this is something that we all can learn um just like with anything else it's it's the time to get the awareness out so let me just uh just talk so if you don't know these are signs of someone that you know is on the spectrum or, or who has autism um uh, autism spectrum disorder a uh, asd is a de uh, developmental disability caused by differences in the brain. People with ASD often have problems with social communication and interaction and restricted or repetitive behavior or interests. People with ASD may also have different ways of learning, moving, or paying attention. It is important to note that some people without a, uh, ASD might also have some of these symptoms, but for people with ASD, these characteristics can make life very challenging so let me just go over uh, certain this is this is just social communication uh and interactive skills like avoiding or does not keep eye contact does not respond to his name by the by nine months of age does not show facial expressions like happy sad angry surprised by nine months of age does not uh play simply interactive games like patty cake by the age of 12 months uses fuel or no gestures by 12 months of age, does not share interest with others by 15 months of age, does not point to show you something interesting by the age of 18 months, does not notice when others are hurt or upset by 24 months of age, does not notice other children are enjoying them in play at 36 months of age, does not pretend uh, to be something else like a teacher or a superhero during play by 48 months of age, does not sing, dance, or act... Uh, or act for you by uh, uh, 60 months of age. Uh, and this is something that I had to learn myself uh, with my my own child. Lining up toys or other objects, it gets upset when the order is changed. Uh, repeats words or phrases over uh, and over. Uh, plays with uh, toys the same way every time. Is focused on parts of objects. Uh, gets up by minor changes. Uh, has obsessive interests 
must follow certain routines, flaps hands, rocks body, or spins uh, self in circles, has unusual reactions to the way things sound, smell, taste, look, or feel. And these are other things to look out for, delay, uh, delay language skills, delay movement skills, delay cognitive learning skills, hyperactive, impulsive, or the tentative behavior, epilepsy or seizure disorder, unusual eating and sleeping habits, digest, uh, uh, gastro, uh, gas, gastrointestinal issues, unusual mood and emotional reactions, anxiety, stress, or excessive worry, lack of fear, or more fear than expected. So these are just things to be able to look out for, uh, you know, whether it's your own children, you know, or uh, it's a family member, you know, or even a neighbor's child. We could be able to, to if we learn these skills, we could be able to help others with autism and be able to understand that their brain does not function like ours would. And we have to adjust accordingly to help those those ones with that that with that out so i just wanted to share that with you guys uh and hopefully you know if you watch this on the replay hopefully if you know someone you know or if you have a child of your own and you need help there's plenty plenty of of uh places that you could go uh that can help your child out you know uh some might you know if you got insurance somebody take your insurance you know, but there's places to be able to get the help that you need, especially as a parent dealing with a child on the spectrum or who has autism. So uh, God bless those uh, who are uh, who have to, you know, uh, be attentive to those needs of children with autism. And we're going to continue to work for a brighter and more uh, more uh, a great future for those guys. All right. Let me get to the main topic of the day and make sure you guys are putting in the comment section. Uh, if you haven't seen this movie, spoilers, 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 uh, head, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. I would say walk out now. I wouldn't even be mad if y'all left right now. Uh, yes, yes. Yes, Tracy, and I, and God bless you. God bless you, Mika, or anybody else who has a child on the spectrum or is dealing with some type of mental health. Um, I deal with it, and sometimes it gets rough, but just know that that child loves you and to keep pushing, keep going, keep going. All right. So, Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. I watched it last night. I have some issues. I have some issues with this movie. And again, <clears throat> and again, if you do not want to be spoiled, leave now. Leave now. Because I do not want to spoil this movie in case you want to watch it. But if you don't care about spoilers, you had your warning. Here we go. All right. Ghostbusters Fallen Kingdom. Um, the movie, the premise of the movie is that you're following the events that happen um in uh Ghostbusters Afterlife, which I really liked. I really liked Afterlife. I don't think any any one of the Ghostbusters movies, whether you talk about 2016's um uh, Ghostbusters reboot, I don't care if you're talking with you know alternate universe uh Ghostbusters. You know, Ghostbusters 2, Ghostbusters, the video game, you know, that came out that was actually written by Harold Ramis and um, and, uh, uh, Dan Aykroyd, which is a very good game. I'm not going to lie. Very good game. And actually leads into uh, Afterlife very more closely. Uh, none of us going to touch the 1984 movie. It was lightning in a bottle. In the biggest premise of that movie is you have, you know, three middle-aged dudes who just got fired from a job, got kicked out of the university, and had to go into business with themselves doing paranoia, paranormal activities, paranoia activities, you know, goose and, you know, ghosts and goblins and all of that. Rosemary Carter, what's up? Good morning. You know what I mean? And 
you know, they start a business busting ghosts. Since all this stuff is going on, they see a ghost. And, and you know, Spangle said, I think I can actually put together, you know, um, ca uh, catching and trapping. Go so you go on this adventure. You, you meet Wisdom Stedmore. You meet you meet Janine and all the cast of characters. You meet uh, uh Sigourney Weaver's uh character uh uh in the movie. You know people get Lewis Tully. You get people get turned into dolls. Cats dolls living together. Mass hysteria. Walter Peck. The list goes on and on about how great the 1984 film is. You know. Does the it was that the uh Ghostbusters 2? I think it's 1990. Is it 90 or 89? No, I think it's 90. But you know, um, that movie is not it's not it's it's hard to replicate the first original movie, but it's not bad, it's not bad at all. And then you come in and you do Ghostbusters after I'm just talking about the main movies, you do Ghostbusters Afterlife, and Ghostbusters Afterlife is a is I the ending got me. The ending really got me. You know what I mean? Um, so I really like uh, like this movie. But the premise of this movie, we're following up, you know, with um, the basically the new Ghostbusters, uh, which is uh, let me get the names so I can so I can give you the the names of uh, uh, the cast. Uh, so I'm not just stumbling over the names. I'm not. I'm, oh God! I don't want to say it's forgettable, but 1989 it was like year Batman came out. Yep, uh, and of course, it, exactly, Rosemary. If you grew up in the 80s, you heard the Ghostbusters theme song every Halloween. No matter what you do, no matter where you go, you're listening to that that song every Halloween. Uh, and, and we love the video. You know what I mean? Uh. You know what I mean? So, uh, Ray Parker Jr., we love the Ghostbusters song. Um, but in here, you're still following uh, Paul Rudd's character, uh, Gary uh, uh, Gruberson, who was the uh, who was the teacher in the last movie. Him and Kelly Spanker, which is Egon's daughter, they officially hooked up. They're a thing uh, now. Uh, uh, Phoebe Spangler is really the main character. She's a POV character uh, in here. Uh, Churfle Spangler, which is the brother, is another supporting character. Like I say, Gary Callie, they're supporting characters. This is Phoebe. This is the last two movies have been Phoebe's story. Uh, you do mean uh, 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 how do you pronounce the name? Kum, uh, Kumail uh, Najani, uh, who was playing Nadine. Uh, in the movie, he comes from a lineage of uh, basically firebenders. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's that's basically who they are. Celeste O'Connor is back as Lucky. Logan Kim is back at, back at, at back as podcast. All grown up now. I loved him in the last movie, uh, but he is, you know, he's a little, little man now. He's grown up. You know what I mean? Uh, Patton Oswalt is is in here. Uh, plays Dr. Hubert uh, in the movie. Uh, you got James Asker. Uh, he plays Lars. He's one of the um, one, of, one of the the um, I would say newer Ghostbusters that's the studying uh, certain Ghostbusters. Um, this new killer uh, um, character Melanie is in there. She plays a ghost. Uh, Bill Murray is is back. Peter Bankman, Ray Stance is in there. Janine is back. Andy Potts, Ernie Hudson, of course, runs um, the Ghostbusters by his funding. All of that, you know what I'm saying. Walter Peck is back. He is the mayor of the city now. Uh, I remember watching a video with him uh, in talk about how much you know uh, in the '80s that they hated that guy. They hated the Walter Peck character. You know what I mean? Um, of course, RP to Ivor Reitman, Jason Reitman uh did um uh did uh, uh direct this movie, you know, but um but yeah, so we're following these cast of characters, you know, uh, uh of of course they're busting ghosts and all that this time, and now they get this ancient artifact that now could you know basically bring on the dawn of the ice age. You know, if he's on fear itself, 
this reminds me of Ghostbusters 2, you know, where you have the river of slime. And, and the people in New York, if they get mad, you have the river of slime. This is basically what it was. I'm going to tell you where this movie failed. It was bland as hell to me. Uh, and Robin, he was basically Ant-Man. He, uh, he was basically he, he was basically Ant-Man with a proton pack in this. Wouldn't shut up. He, like Ant-Man in uh, Silver, uh, Silver War. Wouldn't shut up. Kept chattering. All of that. You know, the family dynamic was a little bit different in the last movie. It was a lot tighter. A little bit more cohesive. You know, we kind of, you know, we kind of understood, you know, the dynamic that the Spanglers have from their father. Now that they're out here busting ghosts, you know, uh, it was just something that I, uh, it was just something that was missing. And, you know, it's the humor in it wasn't that good at all. The humor. Uh, I, it was, I would, I would say this. First of all, when you kick off the movie and there's a thing that, you know, that you play when that Ghostbusters sign comes up, you play the theme song, right? You play the Ghostbusters theme song by Ray Parker Jr. You do not enter this movie with the melody. Do -do -do -do. Now it's good to play throughout the song, but you gotta keep you gotta get me hype for this movie. You know what I mean? They're over there causing destruction, mayhem, all of that. And then it just cuts to the it just cuts to the to the theme. I'm like, what the hell is this? What the hell is this? What's up, Selena? What is up? I only like the original. <laughs> So it doesn't kick off with that classic getting me ready for Ghostbusters. It's telling this story. Uh, you know, uh, Phoebe is the point of view character. Phoebe is a spoiled brat. She acts like a dick. You know what I mean? She, um, I understand it, it's, it's a certain thing in here where they talk about, well, you know, she's a Ghostbuster. I want to be a Ghostbuster. You know what I mean? It, 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 Take Control was dope, too. And I was a big Bobby Brown fan when I seen it. I love that. I love that. It, it, again, but after I would give Afterlife his props. Afterlife brought, brought, brought a lot of hope for me back. And like I said, the ending got me. They went, and it, you you know that end of reminding me of uh, the Cell Games when Gohan, uh, Team Gohan goes and does the Kamehameha wave, you know, and then you see Goku behind him. That's what it remind me of. Got me in my feels. Oh, it got me in my feels. Because I loved Harold Ramis. You know what I'm saying? From Stripes and all of that. I've loved, I've, you know, love Harold Ramis. Love his, his comedic timing was dry, but it was good. And in the script, oh, God, these are, you know, my nerves. In the script, what I noticed was the humor that makes the Ghostbusters the Ghostbusters wasn't there. And I'm not talking about... Peter Bakeman being a creep, you know what I mean? Because you know, uh, she meet he meets Dana Barrett, and you know he immediately harasses her, sexually harass, you know what I mean? All of that. Uh, uh, it, it's not even that, but there was something about even the jargon that they was using. You had Harold Ramis that was, you know, dry humor. Very funny, the way he moved, the everything. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh, uh, Ray Stance always jumped out the jargon about what you see, always had artifacts and books and stuff like, you know, that he could reference to. You know, Harold Ramis was us. He was a he was a regular guy that just wanted a check. You know what I mean? Uh, in this, uh, uh, uh. Yeah, it's something. I uh, I'm not gonna lie. I just was watching it. You know, uh a third film. And they had the third. If you play the Ghostbusters game, um it came, I think the original game came out on PlayStation 2, uh, and Xbox 360. That was literally, you know, um, 
it was Ghostbusters 3. Uh, official, officially in the canon, they didn't mention it in the canon, but it's technically Ghostbusters 3 because the original, everybody from the original game is in it. I mean, from the original movie is in it. All the voice actors, everything. And uh, 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 Igor Shan- Shandor is in that game. So when they talk about trapping him in, in Afterlife, you know what I mean? That's all canon, but it's kind of because it's a video game. If you never played it, you would never know. You know what I mean? Say Pup Marshmallow Man is back in that game. That game is dope. That game is actually really, 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 really hard and fun. You know what I mean? But in here, visual gags is the little Say Pup Marshmallow Man. Uh, that's basically the Gremlins. It was cute in the first one irritating as hell in the second one now they get this orb in, in these these uh they they go back so the station the fire station that they that they bought come to find out it was a place where these aristocrats uh got killed because they had this magical orb that was sealed up uh they started to use this chant the chant opened up you know uh this mystical god creature you know what I mean? And they froze him to death, you know, and they was able to keep it safe. So come to find out Spangler knew what that was, which was never brought up in any other the lore it was ever hinted to in Ghostbusters 1, Ghostbusters 2, Ghostbusters Afterlife, never hinted to at all. And then they shoehorn that plot into this movie. That was my clue number one. This is going to be very, 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 very mid. It's going to be cool in certain spots because I'm I love the Ghostbusters. Go, like Ghostbusters one, one of my favorite movies of all time. That's up there with TMNT, the 1990 movie. That's up there with Gremlins and Gremlins too. I, I watched watch some Gremlins too, but Gremlins, the original group, all of that's nostalgia for my childhood. You know what I mean? Like, like legitimately, Ghostbusters is very much. Gives me the member berries anytime that I watch it. They played a montage because, you know, they, they just busted this ghost and they run over a bunch of stuff and just cause damage throughout the theme that they don't get the r- real repercussions for. It's almost like they did this before. So there's no repercussions, no anything. So they play a montage of like the Ghostbusters serial commercial, the Ray Parker Jr. Um, video for Ghostbusters. Then they play the theme. You should have played the theme at the beginning of the movie, y'all. You can play the th- get me into the mood of Ghostbusters. Let me have fun with this. You know what I mean? You don't do that in the middle of the movie where you had the beginning of the movie to get me right in the feels of Ghostbusters. And they made it where I, I can't say these people were stupid. Yeah. They just act like, uh, I mean, they act like a- amateurs. I mean, the original, the original four, you know, wasn't going around just making it look, like they're it's amateur hour. Then of course Phoebe's 15 years old. She's grown up from the from the uh from afterlife because they were basically what in the in the fifth grade, sixth grade. You know now she's like a freshman in high school, freshman sophomore. Everybody's grow, uh, growing up. Lucky's you know has grown up. You know uh, Trevor has grown up. So all the, that part was cool. The supporting characters was cool, but the fact that they they focus on phoebe again and phoebe was being a little shit that's basically i'm just part of my language that's basically what she was she was being bratty she wasn't you know um uh wasn't reprimanded didn't understand the real factor i guess that was the mode of the movie that they were trying to make you know phoebe because she's trying to be rebellious she thinks she could be a ghostbuster and she ends up you know uh opening up the gates of hell you know, but hell froze over. You know what I mean? And then she comes to the realization she should have done that. You know, at one point she, you know, she deletes herself for two minutes so she can feel, how, you know, see how it feels to be a ghost. So she could communicate with another ghost. Who does that? But again, she's a spankler. And it was, and, and I remember the scene in Ghostbusters 1 when they said, remember you tried to drill a hole in your head? And he's like, I would, uh, 
and that would have worked if you wouldn't have to stop me. Like, you know, my man Slimer is in the movie. Slimer's in the movie for no apparent reason at all, but just to slime Trevor. No other factual reason he needs to even be there. And it would what, what, what this remind me of it was it was almost like a mix of Ghostbusters the movie and the real Ghostbusters, but without any of the humor or charm of that cartoon at all. Do you know what I mean? Uh just it it wasn't there. It wasn't it wasn't there. Um uh, Masters of the Universe was, you know, was my joy. No matter how stupid that movie is, I still love that. I still love that movie. You know what I mean? Uh the sequel, but you know why I like the sequel so much of Gremlins? The sequel literally was a spoof of their own movie. So they spoofed or they made a uh yeah, they did a spoof movie of their own movie. So I like that movie so much. You know what I mean? Who spoofs their own movie? Which was awesome and amazing. You know what I mean? Uh, but it was. It was considered a cult classic. Uh, okay, they were just trying to grab old fans, some new teenage fans. They threw everything in there, including the kitchen. It legitimately, like when they did the montage, I laughed a little bit. But then I said, what the hell? It was trying to reprimand. Basically, Walter Peck was being Walter Peck. And he was basically uh, trying to say why the Ghostbusters don't need to be there you know what i mean uh yeah christopher lee is in that movie and he has one of the he has an awesome awesome scene yeah <laughs> when the girl sneezes and he takes the tissue the way he looked it was hilarious love that movie you know what i'm saying absolutely love that movie um but in here the support i like uh uh khalil majali he was cool but I yeah, yeah, I love Paul Rudd. I do. Kansas City and love Paul Rudd. Got so much. I did not, I did not feel him in this movie. I did not feel him in this movie. You know, um, uh, the last movie made a better impression to me. You know what I mean? It made a way better impression to me than this movie. Again, the little say puff was 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 annoying. You know, the plot was predictable, and I think that's what it was. There was no twists or turns. The plot was predictable, like extremely predictable. And basically, you know, um, it was almost, like I said, a mix of, of Ghostbusters 2. Uh, but it was way more humor in Ghostbusters 2. But remember how they followed Dana and Peter's relationship that we didn't really care about? We did not care that Dana went and had a, a, a baby by somebody else. You know what I mean? And then here come Bateman sipping for her again. You know, I yeah. You know what I mean? Uh and I always wondered in Ghostbusters 2. Okay, I understand you want Oscar. You know how many kids is in uh that's in New York? Pick one. You got this man going all out all, all out the way to get. Little Oscar, when all these other kids could have been used, so you could bring out the terror. That's just like this is like this movie. You know what I'm saying? Out of everybody they could they could use to open up the gates of hell, they use Phoebe. If it would have been another supporting character, you know what I mean? It would have been better. Winston was wasted in this movie. You know what I'm saying? He was just basically the rich, the rich benefactor, and the one who was selling people a. Hey, you know, you know we all, right? We ain't supposed to be doing this, right? You know we all, right? You know what I mean? Like, it was just one of those, it was one of those movies that, that had a lot of potential if they would have did a new ghost. Like, these are new Ghostbusters, but they're not. Like, literally, new recruits. Like, okay, so if Spangler's, you know, I, and I understand Phoebe being there. You know what I mean? I understand Phoebe being there, but the jokes didn't land. None of this landed for me. None of it landed for me. Uh, just did not have a good time with this. It was it was okay. Uh, but if I was honest with you, I wouldn't watch this. I, I wouldn't just, this is not one of those ones that I watch over and over again. It's not as bad as 2016's. 2016's gets god awful. The dancing, all of that. Uh, and then they tried to 
every character in that was like a caricature of the original Ghostbusters, it's not that bad. It's not, it's not that bad. But it's not that it's not great either. There's nowhere close. So, like I said, they captured the fun. And the um, the excitement of the 84. Like I said, I'll watch Ghostbusters 2 all day. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the Run DMC Ghostbusters song. Ghostbusters. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't afraid of no ghost. Ghostbusters. When they was doing the montage, when the dude was running, he caught it with the trap. All the new stuff. Man, man, I watched that. You know what I'm saying? Especially when Bobby Brown opens the door. All right, man, you're the Ghostbusters. Man, my kid brother wants one of those proton packs. You know what I mean? It was Bobby Brown at the height of Bobby Brown's powers. Amazing. You know what I'm saying? And I guess we're gonna have to take control. Oh, 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 oh. Amazing. None of that is in here. That's what sucks. There's no fun in this movie. There's no, I don't know who this movie was for. You know what I mean? Uh, not in my cinema. <laughs> in my cinema, I was, I was, I was Michael Jackson. You know what I'm saying? By myself. You are not alone. Yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and yeah. yeah, but if you're going to make, okay, like I said, I like Afterlife. The problem with this movie is the plot. The writing is not that great. Janine's not really Janine. Now, Janine did wear the pro top pack in the real Ghostbusters. So that's why I give her, I give her a pass in this movie uh, for wearing, you know what I'm saying, wearing the Ghostbusters uh, suit. Uh, again, uh uh winston was wasted uh in this movie so they, okay you got slimer in the in the uh poster right slimer's in a slimer is just there for i guess comic relief but i didn't laugh like you know what i mean it was stupid it was stupid remember when when um uh, when uh uh bateman got slime uh uh you know in the uh what's up eric shaw what's up what's up what's up Miss you, brother. Miss you. We're glad you're stopping in. But remember in the original Ghostbusters when uh, Bakeman got slimed? And how he was laying there is like, I feel so fun. Like, it's little stuff that was amazing. Trevor gets slimed twice. And it's just like, you know, just gonna, I guess I'm just going to get slimed. You know what I mean? It just, you know, have goo all over my face. Yeah. <laughs> Just, yeah, you know, Khalil Majali is, uh, uh, I, you know, I guess he was supposed to be funny, but he was okay. I guess the family dynamic, you know, kind of got on my nerves a little bit. No, did he? You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, chill, no, did he? You know what I mean? It, Slimer's not really in the movie. You know what I mean? Um, this is a very good representation of this movie. In the worst part of this movie. Do you see how this is all frozen over? There is a scene where New York is frozen the flub over. And people still coming out there with no coat. Frozen. Not snow. Frozen. Builders frozen. All of that. In a blink of an eye, all of it's gone. Yeah, all of it's gone. Ah, oh, man. I thought this was going to be so much, so much better. Um, that ghost wasn't, I thought it was, this was going to be so much better. Um, it wasn't the return of Zool was, uh, was better than this. You know what I mean? The return of Zool was way better than this. You know, was he, you know, I did like the design of, uh, what I liked though, the design of the creatures, the designs of the ghosts, um, uh, um, the ending was 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 cool, I guess. I nah, the end is stuff. It's, uh, he was dope. The the once he came aboard and he was a a real villain, that was dope. But a lot of it, like I said, was predictable. It was very predictable. I didn't like it. 
Yeah, even they brought even brought back the uh the original, which I think is this was a practical hopefully I think it was a practical effect, but I could be wrong, it could be just straight CGI. You know what I mean? But for the for the library scene, when they first uh go into the library, they go right back to the library. Shh, the same guy from the original uh movie who was you know um uh, who brought them to the ghost he was in the movie you know what i mean uh Patton oswald's character was there for exposition you know what i mean that's all he was there for you know walter peck was okay but yeah what's up behind the scene what's going on uh he said i fell asleep multiple times before the third day i had to leave and do something better with my time that's hilarious that's hilarious i watched you know what I mean? But, you know, certain parts did not keep my attention because it was a lot of exposition dumping. And, you know, I don't know. I don't know. But, again, like this scene here, yeah, uh, you know, I get it, but they're old. I, they're old. I like Pat Oswalt. I like Pat Oswalt. I like Pat Noll, especially when he played my boy Mug Doc. <laughs> you know, this is a bad representation of the movie. And this looks so phony. Like, let me let me full screen this. This is how I felt in the movie. Is forget I I'm Winston. That's me. I'm all of these looks is me at certain parts of this movie. Certain parts of this movie is all of my facial expressions. And yeah, so if I was to rate this, you know what I mean? Um, you know, let me let me let me see. One, I, if I was going, you know, uh, between a scale of one to five, let's say safe puff marshmallow men, I get this two out of five safe puff marshmallow mans. I didn't like it. I thought it was going to be a lot better. It was okay. Not something that... If it's on television, I'll watch it, I guess. But this is not something that I buy. Like I said, Ghostbusters 1, Ghostbusters 2, Ghostbusters Afterlife. 2016, hell no, I would never buy that. Uh, In this one, uh, uh, you know, yeah. I don't know. The... Yeah, two. I'd say two and a half. Two and a half, say put Marshmallow Man. But other than that, no. No. And no. But have you guys watched this movie? Uh, what do you think about this movie? Did you like it? If you watched it, you know what I mean? Put it in the comment section below. Let me know kind of what you guys uh, are thinking. Uh, they should have been in 2016. It's cliche to have their kids take over, but I wouldn't have rolled with it. I mean, nah. Yeah, I would say it's one of those movies. Check it out on streaming. If you see it on streaming, you know, you're already paying for the service. You know, see what you think. But other than that, no. 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 I wouldn't, no, no, it's, it's going to piss, if you're a real Ghostbusters fan, it's going to piss you off, you know what I mean, it's really going to piss you off, but, all right, uh, you already know what it's time for, man, you know, I love y'all, but, you know, a brother gotta, gotta do what he gotta do, son, you already know. Yo, the sign is real simple, B, it says wrap it up, wrap that shit up, B. Don't forget to celebrate uh, World Autism Day today. Uh, get and if you uh, need more information, make sure that you get uh, you go to and let me pull that back up. Uh, the World uh, Autism Speak .org. Let me put that back on my screen uh, for you guys. You know, World Autism uh, again it's Autism Awareness, but Autism Speaks .org. You can check them, uh, check it out. And if you would like to donate, you have an opportunity to donate. But at least, you know, today, uh, get the word out. Uh, I will be posting something on my uh, 
uh, on my page too uh, on uh, Instagram. So make sure you you guys uh, are aware of that and you're checking that out. All right. What did you guys think about Frozen Empire? Did you like it? Did you watch it? Is that something that you would want to watch? Put in the comment section below. But of course, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell notification so you can never, ever, ever miss one of my videos again. Until next time, I'll holler at you guys later. Peace and bye, Pirate, y'all. Enjoy you guys this Tuesday. Where is my outro at? Got to get up out of here. The forehead's breathing, and I can't breathe again. Breathe again. Wait a minute. You're telling me the video's over? What? Huh. Okay, I guess so. If you have came to this portion of the video, thank you so very much for sticking to the end. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that little bell notification so you never miss one of my videos. And if you really want to, you don't got to, go ahead and follow the social media links that's down below. Until next time, I'll let you guys later. Peace and Bob Hire, y'all. Y'all take care of y'all.